Welcome everyone to our third session, Set Jean Set Jerok. And I'm very excited to have a new guest today. Emine is with us. Welcome Emine. Hoş geldin. Hoş bulduk. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm very glad to have you here and um, for, for a long time we did not have any guest. That's why I'm really feeling um, um, excited. Good night stories for rebel girls. We'll have a new, new, new story again. So welcome, Emine. Thank you. Uh, which story you choose for us today to read? Mm, I chose the story of Manal Al Sharif. She was a women's rights activist, um, and uh, she impressed me a lot. Mm -hmm. Can you please read it? Read it for us. Sure. My yeah, pleasure. Once there was a girl who wanted to drive a car. She lived in Saudi Arabia, a country where religious rules forbid women from driving. One day she decided to break the rule. She borrowed her brother's car and drove around the streets of her city for a while. She posted a video on YouTube showing her at the wheel so that as many people as possible could see what she was doing and could find the courage to do the same. If men can drive, why can't women? Manal said in the video. It was a simple question after all. But religious authorities didn't like it. What if other women start to drive? They will get out of control, the authorities shouted. So a few days later, Manal was arrested and had to promise not to drive again. The video, in the meantime, had been watched by thousands of people a few weeks later, hundreds of brave Saudi women took the streets with their cars, defying religious authorities. Manal was put in jail again, but she continued to speak out and to encourage women to drive and fight for their rights. Don't ask when this ban will be lifted, just get out and drive. Thank you very much, Emine. You yeah. said that it impressed you. What made it impressive? Mm, I think uh, that um, that uh, taking into account that it was forbidden in Saudi Arabia and she still did it. I mean, um, she could have faced you know high penalties, um, and she still did it. Something what was not done by any woman before, uh, or maybe it was done. We, we don't know it, and um, I think especially as a woman. With a, uh, with, uh, as a Muslim woman with a hijab, um, it was it was empowering to see uh, her uh, to you know to know her stories to um, that it, uh, it that it uh, encouraged so many women Muslim women also to do the same um, and for me for me especially it was important because I was also socialized in a Muslim family. Um, and from there I know that uh, Muslim women or Muslim families are under, underrepresented or racialized a lot. Um, yeah, I really liked it a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I used to ask this question, what, um, is there any connection with your own story? Um, I will ask you too, <laughs> was, was there any connection? Mm, well, there are... There, there's no direct connection, but um, thinking of my biography here in Germany and going up here, um, I didn't face, uh, I didn't face discrimination, um, like not allowed to drive a car. But uh, I mean, at school, I had discrimination from my teachers and from my, mm -hmm. you know, other students and. Um, so I felt like, wow, she's so courageous, and uh, I wish I would have someone, you know, to look up upon and say, like, oh, she's so brave, and I can do the same, I can speak up. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you think that you are, uh, in a way, that someone looks at you and says, yeah, wow, Emine did this, and, and now we, we have this courage to speak up. Do you think that you are somehow a role model? I don't know if the word is... Yeah, Correct. yeah. That, that's actually it's very interesting because I'm not 
a person usually who would promote herself and um, and talk a lot about what I'm doing and what great things I did. But then I hear stories from my um, nieces. Uh, she just she posted something what I wrote, uh, something political, and I was impressed because she got so many feedbacks and uh, people in her age, like sixteen, maybe not so much post size. Asked like, who wrote this? This is so amazing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, wow, my words, um, you know, went viral and impressed other teenagers. And um, my niece, she was so proud. And she's like, Yo, you know, uh, Taser, auntie, I'm so proud what you wrote. And then, and I got that feedback from many people for different things. And sometimes I don't see that in myself. And people mm -hmm. see that in myself. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes what, when I'm too hard to like too harsh with myself. Uh -huh. What do you think they see in you? Mm, I think um, from what I know, like what people tell me sometimes that I have a, a big heart, uh, that mm -hmm. I'm very social and, mm -hmm. uh, and I think very supportive and kind of a maybe a role model for um, other um, kids and also grown-ups, adults of color um, who see like, oh, she made her way and she really mm -hmm. didn't have it easy, but she studied and she's uh, making a movie mm -hmm. and stuff. And sometimes I forget these things from where I came from and where mm -hmm. I'm staying now. Yeah. Where you came from? <laughs> from somewhere very small. <laughs> <laughs> Which country is it? Uh, in, in I know it, but just for my yes. <laughs> <laughs> for, for people who are in watching Germany. us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And 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 you born in in Germany. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also feel like that. Um, okay. One more question. Mm -hmm. You said that what people see in you is um, your big heart. In what you have this big heart in your activism, your writing, your and trying to understand which activities you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think in my activism, um, which uh, I don't do so much uh, right now. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, I do, but I don't see it as activism. I, I mm -hmm. take it for granted. Um, but you write, you. Yeah, I. You what do, else you do? Do like uh, I make this movie, which is a political movie. Um, you you make movie. I, mm -hmm. In different circles, mm -hmm. supporting uh, people, but I don't go and tell so much about what I'm doing. And, mm -hmm. um, this is also power. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I I just don't I don't like so much speaking about it. Maybe what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and um, that's why maybe I don't see myself so much as someone who's like. Um, mm -hmm you know, has, uh, that I'm a role model, but then I hear that from other friends, yeah. and I thought like, oh, that's so, that, that warms really my heart up, um, to hear that, and I feel like, I feel really loved when I, when I hear that. Super. Wow. It touched me now, <laughs> because I know you, because I know how many people are impressed by you, and I, because also I know how con like insistently you are following your heart and putting this beautiful heart into the action into in your life and I'm very glad to have you. I hope it will also inspire other people who don't know you yet. Thank yeah. you a lot. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And all the best. Thank you. <laughs>